So one thing that you can do with controlled vocabularies is use more than one of them at the same time to describe a single object, right? Which makes sense, really, when you think about it, because nothing is really just one thing, right? That kind of classification is called faceted classification, right? The idea is that you can describe something according to more than one characteristic or attribute, right? Facets like the facets of a cut jewel are different ways of looking at the same thing. Right? Each facet in classification can have its own logic. If you wanted to describe this shirt that I'm wearing, for example, you could describe it in any number of ways. You could say it's made from cotton. You could say it was made in whatever year it was made in. I actually have no idea. Um, it was made in whatever country it was made in. I, again, have absolutely no idea. Um, each of those descriptions could have a whole controlled vocabulary behind it. right? The date of manufacture of a shirt or anything is a pretty simple controlled vocabulary. It's just going to be a list of integers probably from 0 to 2013. That's a very simple controlled vocabulary as controlled vocabularies go. Um, the place of manufacture is a pretty easy one as well. All you would really need is a list of all of the countries in the world. You could get more specific. You could drill down to cities or other smaller geographic areas within a country. Or you could drill down even further and get to GPS coordinates. That, of course, would be fairly ridiculous if you're trying to describe a shirt, for example. But I'm sure you can imagine things where you would want very precise GPS coordinates. So the logic of the controlled vocabulary is dependent on what you want to do with it. If you're talking about, say, the material out of which a shirt is made, uh, that would require some specialized knowledge of materials, right? You could have a fairly coarse-grained controlled vocabulary there, like, you know, cotton, nylon, whatever, but that would not probably satisfy somebody who's actually interested in, say, materials science. So you would need some specialized knowledge to create a controlled vocabulary of materials. And we'll look at the art and architecture thesaurus in some more detail later. Um, and in fact, one of the facets of the art and architecture thesaurus which is a faceted classification scheme, is, in fact, materials. Right. So the point is, really, that you can describe a thing in multiple ways. And faceted classification allows for that. It allows first of all, on the description side, a much richer description of an object because you get to describe that object along multiple axes, if you will, along multiple facets. And on the retrieval side, you are able to craft fairly specific searches to narrow the universe of things you're searching for very precisely. And let me show you a search that I just did in the library catalog of my institution, the University of North Carolina. Right? I just did a fairly simple search for works with metadata in the title. And you get a list of 174 items here. And we have the ability in the library catalog at Carolina to refine our search by several different criteria, by several different facets. So, for example, if what I was interested in was only works that are available in particular branches on campus or particular formats or 
on particular subjects, right, LCSH subjects, for example, I could do that, right? I created another sort of canned search here, and what I've searched for is works with metadata in the title that are on the subject Dublin Core, which is a topic we'll come to in our next unit, that are only electronic, right? Ebooks are online. So we, I've said, here's the title facet. Give me things on this title with, with this word in the title, things that are only electronic, making a distinction between electronic objects and physical objects, and things with the subject Dublin Core. So out of this entire facet that is the LCSH subject headings, give me only things that have this one term in them. Right. So faceted classification allows you to take multiple thesauri, multiple controlled vocabularies, and apply them to a single object to, on the one hand, create a very rich description of that object and to allow you on the flip side to craft a very narrow search.